Hello everyone, welcome to this week's video announcements. I'm gonna start right in with what's happening tonight. Our UU History DVD and discussion group is continuing tonight from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. up in the youth room. Um, it's Monday, April 29th. Uh, after a short opening, the group will watch one section of the documentary, The Long Strange Trip, a journey through 2,000 years of Unitarian Universalist history. Uh, after the viewing, Kevin Emery Ross will lead conversations until 8.30. Uh, come learn more about the roots of our liberal religious thought. Tomorrow is uh, a community interfaith choir event that anyone is welcome to attend. The interfaith choir will be singing at the Holocaust Memorial Service Tuesday, April 30th, 7 p.m. at Riviere Dion Center at Riviere University. All are welcome. Our UU hikers are taking their next hike this Saturday um, at Benson Park, which is um, an amazing park in Hudson with the preserved remains of the zoo that it once was. They're going to do a, um, a walk in the woods plus some fun local stuff, um, so you should definitely join them. That's this Saturday, May 4th, uh, starting at 1 p.m., meeting at the entrance parking lot, um, and they'll finish up around 4 p.m. and make sure you wear some comfortable walking shoes. Also this Saturday is um, our UU Action New Hampshire Spring Summit. Um, that is this Saturday, May 4th, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. up at the UU Church in Manchester, so not too far away. It's going to be a gathering of UUs from across the state um, to learn, worship, and plan for the future of UU Action. There's uh, going to be worship led by Reverend Lynn Marshall of UU Concord, um, workshops by a variety of folks, and a keynote address by Reverend Annie Gonzalez Milliken, who is from the UU Church in Bedford, Mass. Um, and she's been doing a ton of work, a ton of organizing work um, in the Boston area around immigration. Um, and she's a fabulous speaker, so definitely worth coming out for. There will be lunch and snacks provided, as well as child care. Um, and they're asking for just a small door donation of $15 to help offset the costs of hosting the event. Um, but no one will be turned away for lack of funds. Uh, so everyone is welcome to attend. Again, that's this Saturday, May 4th, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. And I'm going to put the link in the comments where you can RSVP for that. On Sunday, there's a bunch of stuff happening. Um, our worship associates will be leading a service called Get Curious About Curiosity. What am I missing? Um, and there's uh, three or four folks who are collaborating on that. It sounds like it's going to be a really amazing service. Um, if you are curious about what faith formation might look like next year, there's going to be a trial run, a taste and a trial of um, offering faith formation workshop choices where children will have a choice of three or four different workshops that are based on our newly clarified um, core values, wonder, courageous community, authentic connection, and love in action. Um, if you are curious more uh, to learn more about that new model that they're going to be trying out this Sunday and possibly doing in the fall, um, Sadie's put together this awesome bulletin board. I'm in the dining room, in case you're wondering, um, that just has tons of information about what children's faith formation will look like um, in the fall and... Uh, how you can help as well. So if you want to be a part of making our children's faith formation happen in the fall, um, there's a bunch of different roles and Sadie would love to have you be a part of it. Um, I'm going to be taking our Ropes Youth and Leaders on a Boston UU Heritage Tour this Sunday, which um, Starts with attending and touring Arlington Street Church in Boston, and then we'll take a walking tour. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. So Ropes Youth and Leaders, we're going to be meeting, I believe, at 9 a.m. Don't forget. Um, and... Our, our next high school youth ministry event is happening um, also this Sunday, May 5th. It's going to be doing, they're going to be doing a trail cleanup and walk at Mine Falls Park in, at 2 p.m. Um, so lots of faith formation stuff happening this Sunday. 
Coming up on May 19th is our annual services auction. Hopefully you have already marked your calendar. It's happening right after the service, 11.30 to 2 p.m. Um, and there's been folks in Fellowship Hour the last few Sundays. I'm sure they'll be there again this Sunday, um, offering you the opportunity to sign up for um, making donations um, and for volunteering as well. Um, I'm also going to put two links in the comments. One is if you want to sign up to volunteer for the auction, and the other is if you want to donate something. Um, and there's ideas about what you can donate. Uh, and the theme for our auction this year is spring into summer. So by mid-May, we're always on that cusp of it kind of feels like spring, but we're kind of ready for summer. So we're going to have a little taste of summer at our auction um, and party. Uh, and you're, you are invited to wear your summer clothes, break out those flip-flops, bring your beach towels and umbrellas. Um, it's going to be a really fun time. I hope you will all be there. On uh, Memorial Day weekend, um, May tw uh, 25th, uh, the New Hampshire Council of Churches is having a night at the ballpark, um, and they're inviting um, folks, anyone from their member denominations, and we're one of those, um, for a fun night together at the ballpark, seeing the Fisher Cats up in Manchester. Um, it'll be a, a great night to enjoy friendship, fellowship, and fun from the many diverse congregations and denominations of the Council of Churches. Um, it'll uh, be a Fisher Cats game, so that'll be fun. And there's a fireworks show at the end of the game that night. Um, tickets are just $11. I'm going to put the link in the comments where you can um, get your tickets. Um, I'm going to be there. I think it'll be really uh, fun to gather with um, other folks from other congregations and denominations across the state. This summer, we're planning a special group exhibit in our fellowship ga gallery, um, and you are invited to consider sharing one or two pieces of art that you've made or plan to make, make between now and the middle of June. It can be any medium, anything, as long as it can hang on a wall, um, open to members and friends of the church of any age. The art should not be too large, maybe 24 by 24 or less, um, since we want to hang um, as many pieces as we can. Um, and if you, but if you have something lar larger, you can let um, Ellen Fisher know, and and she'll let you know if it will work out. Um, Ellen is organizing it. Uh, you can contact her at gallery at uunashua.org to ask questions or to offer your work. Don't be shy. Um, and looking all the way forward to next fall, we have a new women's faith formation program that will start up in September of 2019. Women of Wisdom will consist of 13 monthly circles, which will be led by Gail McMorrow Donahue and Loretta Hubley, every third Sunday from 6.30 to 8.30 in the Campbell Chapel, um, starting uh, sep September 8th and running through September 2020. So it'll be 13 months of circles. Um, they need at least eight women to sign up. So they're asking folks to start signing up now. And I will put the link in the comments where you can do that. That's all I've got for this week. Um, if you have any announcements you would like me to include next Monday, uh, feel free to send them to me um, by Monday morning, and I will make sure to include them. In the meantime, hope you have a wonderful week, and I hope I'll see you at one of the many things happening this weekend.